Good day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today I am setting on our 2021, this is a Honda Rubicon, and uh, we ended up trading, well we didn't trade, we bought a different one, a newer one, and so this is one that we're actually going to put up for sale. It's a 2021, it's a what they call 500cc Rubicon. Folks, this is the Cadillac of ATVs. Let me explain why. Um, first of all, it's got power steering. I don't, I'll turn it on here in a minute. Um, it's pretty it, noisy. So. Yeah, well, it's not that noisy. It's not like some of the old no. three cylinder bangers. This has got the high and low. So this is a very important feature if you're gonna be pulling a load, like unrolling a big round bale or pulling like an 800 pound mineral feeder, any kind of weight, you can lock it down, okay, into low. It also, it also has uh, automatic, it'll shift automatically, or you can shift up and down manually, depending on whether you use auto or ESP, okay? And it has four-wheel drive, of course. It also has this button you can push in, like that. That enables all four tires to turn, so now you've got maximum traction. You would use that if you're in a bunch of mud and you're trying to pull something real heavy, maybe deep snow. Uh, we barely, rarely use that unless you get into some really mean elements. It does have electric start. Uh, the independent suspension, let me show you that. So here on the back, each tire has its own, or each side has its own coil spring back here. And boy, I tell you what, that makes it ride really smooth. It's almost like riding on a Cadillac. Um, we just got through putting a new light on it. The old one, you know, the guys uh, tore, tore this part up, the toolbox. This is the toolbox. That's where you keep your tools. So we put a brand new toolbox on it. Um, we put a new seat cover on it. Um, I come around over here, I'll show you. This is, this is the neatest thing right here. So everybody's asking me, great, how do you, where do you where do you come up with these? This is the bar that I have a welder custom make for us. And this is a design that, that we came up with many years ago. And what is it? Well, it allows you to hit a hot wire and drive over it without getting off your floor. And I'm gonna show you that. I've got an experimental fence set up here in front of us. And up here is where you put your luggage rack. Of course, the luggage rack that was on here, we put it on our new one, so you'd have to put a luggage rack on here if you wanted to. It also has a storage box up here. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, it's got that. And that allows you to get right to your... Uh, antifreeze? Yeah, your antifreeze, your coolant. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, well, let me go around it. and it's got, it's, Folks, it's got 1,100 hours on it. Um, we change the oil. We keep track of these things. It's got a, a gauge on it. It tells you when it's time to change the oil. And the life of any engine, talk to any mechanic, it's the oil. Don't run dirty oil in your ATVs. They'll last you forever. So we're very uh, conscientious about that. We make sure we keep clean oil in them. And they're just a beast. These things are a beast. Um, Let me... Um shoot pan go around it and shoot yeah, go for it i'm gonna get on it and show you how we go over the fence folks this is not a toy this is not something you want to put a five or six year old kid on these things can go you know 40 to 50 mile probably 40 mile an hour but you don't go that fast on them never ever you don't do that this is a tool it's it's part of our everyday operation that we use on the farm it's it's the biggest one they make it's the biggest one they make and you know you just got to be careful with them and it says right here nobody under 16 should be running this full wheel there's a reason for that young kids they get out playing with a buddy and next thing you know you put every year you hear people get hurt and killed on these things they are dangerous uh, they can be I just don't drive them fast. There's no need to be going 30 mile an hour on one of these. I mean, there just isn't. It's a tool, it's a great tool. It can pull probably six or seven times its weight. Um, 
it's just an amazing uh, animal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna straddle the fence so they can see it. Yeah, it's got lights on it, a high and low beam. So here we go. We're gonna Wait, I'm gonna get on this side. I'm shooting into the sun. <laughs> oh, let them hear the motor. So how easy it starts. It is not that loud. So now I've got it in manual. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up and see me run on this water. It's not hot. Okay. a great tool um just been a, being able to go around your farm folks uh you can run over a high tensile wire with that bar on the front okay um when you're traveling down the road of course you don't want it you don't want it in low lock i, I just had it in low lock there put it up in drive you don't don't put it forward drive unless you need it you don't want to be going down the road using forward drive all you're doing is using up uh, you know, extra gear and, and fuel. It holds about, uh, I think, three and a half gallons. Uh, we can get by all week on this thing for three gallons of gas, and we're using it every day, putting in paddies, taking out paddies, checking cows, checking mineral, water, you name it. This is our tool. Um, we use it, you know, on the farm every day, and it's, it's a nice piece of equipment. Do you want to tell them how we beefed up the... Uh the plugs here yeah so it comes with uh there's none left no we took them all off yeah they come with this little plastic plug on there we put washers and, and bolts in every one of these holes to keep your shroud on there's a little plastic plug in it always it, comes it off always come on off if you hit a little bush or something they pop off yeah our new one has just already lost two of them we lost two in the first week yeah so we're going to put these on all it is is just a a flat-headed wash a nut i'm sorry bolt with a, a lock washer on the back but uh yeah these a uh, honda you know we were in new zealand for almost a month doing schools over there and every single four that we saw in new zealand was a honda that was it that was it and there's a reason for that if you want to work on them if you want to always be taken to the shop go buy one of the others but if you want a, a machine that'll work for you on the farm and it'll be there when you need it to go use to do your chores and such get get, get your honda so we're just upgrading yeah. kind of like we're trading up yep that's what we're doing we're not going to let it get to be an old worn out four wheel where you know then it's no good for nothing we're going to sell them while they're still good and we're going to sell them with a bar on uh yeah, it's mounted on there. It's really stout. Um, yeah, it's just, it's ready to go. It's ready to go for somebody. And it's got an experience. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with that, oh, the reverse. i to show you, this is cool. So the old ones, you had to hold in and, and, and oh, push the yeah. button, all that. No, not on these. All you got to do Pull in on that and hit reverse like that. We got an arrow going reverse. Okay. Let me get on the other side. Okay. Yeah, so you just hold it on that. Well, I've already got it in reverse. Okay, now I'm in forward. So you just take your finger, hold it on the red button. Done. We're in reverse. Very easy to do. Um, it does have. Uh, like disc brakes on it. Uh, you, you notice I've got it started now. It's real easy to turn. Folks, I thought Parastream was the most goofy thing. Why would you need Parastream on a four-wheeler for? I mean, give me a break. No, it's a big deal. I'll tell you why. Oh, you saw how tight he was turning those corners. It's so easy to turn them. And in the wintertime when it's cold, you have to try to back up a bale and roll to a bale. Oh, man. Piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. You know, you can, you can turn it, and you, I had one, 
that wasn't Paris Tin, every time I got on, I gritted my teeth because it was a real deal backing it up. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little uh, extra on there. Yeah. Paris okay. on a four on an ATV. And, and, uh, one reason we upgraded is because it, it, it's been hard to find a four, 500. It's really hard. Um, we have a big dealership uh, close here. I'm not going to tell you what town it's in because I don't want you to go buy the one they get. They only get one a year. They got two last year. They got two. We got one of them. Folks, they're hard to get. Uh, ever since this COVID thing, it, I mean, it shut them down. I don't know what it is. They, they seem like they just can't keep a uh, stock of Rubicons in. As soon as they get them, they're gone. You can get 400 Foremans. Yeah, you get 400. Folks, they're not big enough. If you're going to start pulling some weight out here, anything that's a 1,000 pounds or more, you need to have some power. And the Rubicon is the only one that has the high and low where it lets you shift down, and it's easier on the engine and the clutch and the transmission. And the suspension. Yeah, the independent, independent, the independent suspension, which is very nice. It's very nice. So, yeah, it's quite a deal. Anyway, if you're interested, go to greenpasturesfarm.net, fire me an email, and maybe you can go home with a really nice Honda Rubicon, ready to go, with the wire uh, pushed down on it, drive over. It saves you hours. Have a good one, folks.